Sports News. Now I'm um, Isaac Dobby, one of Ghana's instrumental and very creative and strong and uh, agile boxers. Is one of my favorites. Um, he faces off with one Emmanuel on average today in a boxing bout. Now, um, we all know Mexicans are known to you know be among the best in the world of boxing, considering the aggressive and uh, ferocious style of boxing, which has won numerous titles across the various divisions. Now, um, if you come to Ghana here, which is a small West African country, on a uh, the other hand, I mean, we also have great boxers like Azuma Nelson, DK Poison, Ike Quarty, among others. The list goes on and on. Now, all these boxers have excelled on the world stage and conquered Mexicans in the ring. But this young Ghanaian boxing champion called Isaac Royal Storm Dugby has made significant strides in his career, having defeated every mexican and i repeat that he has defeated every mexican opponent in a style and has left them in despair and eventually earned him the nickname the mexican assassin so you know we all already knew isaac dogbe as the royal storm but because of the way he's been good at you know conquering the mexicans isaac has now gotten one of um, the terms added to his name he is now nicknamed the Mexican Assassin. Now, these Mexican boxers like um, Jesse Magdaleno, Cesar Juarez, and Alejandro Ocoa have all bowed to the Ghanaian boxer in the ring. Oh, yes. With upcoming bout mandatory challenger, Emmanuel Navarrete, looking to avenge the defeat of his counterparts. Now, um, I have watched some of the matches of this Navarrete, and he's not too bad. But uh, if Isaac Dobe is the Mexican assassin, then we have nothing to worry about. Now, Dobe, the World Boxing Organization um, Super Bantamweight Champion, he faces a very stern test today, Saturday, the 8th of December, at the Madison Square Garden. That's in New York which is in the United States of America. And he fights with against um, Emmanuel Navarrete from Mexico. Now, um, following the exploits of legendary Ghanaian boxer Azuma Nelson, who also conquered numerous Mexican opponents, Isaac Dugbe would like to keep his undefeated record. In fact, as he set sight on moving up in the division next year, he really wants to add more accolades to his record. Now, Dugbe has the weight of Ghana on his shoulders and would look to make Ghana proud again when he mounts the ring. I can't wait to see him throw the left hook, the right hook and the uppercut. Now, Navarrete, on the other hand, would be fighting in America for the fight time and would look to announce his presence um, on the world stage in style against this ruthless Ghanaian boxer. Now, Navarrete is undoubtedly a very good boxer, having had an impressive record over the past years. Now, Navarrete has knocked down his opponent eight successive times with the likes of um, Jose San Martin, um, Danny Flores, um, Glenn Porras, among other, other um, boxers falling at his feet. Now, the orthodox boxer has, you know, a big right hand, coupled with the ability of throwing ferocious and combined punches. Now, the 23-year Mexican boxer has age on um, side with Dobe being a year older, but it might not be advantageous as they are both of equal strength. Now, Dobe looks very poised for the upcoming bout, especially with, you know, the Niho chance and <laughs> he has made some resounding statements of victory ahead of the bout. This one thing that I like about Isaac Dobe, you cannot take his confidence away. He's always confident, no matter how strong his opponent is. And I remember one time he was fighting this Mexican guy and I was even um, a little scared that, you know, the guy would be too much for him. But Isaac Dobe kept on with his confidence and, you know, even in the interview, you could see how this guy is willing and able to beat the, the, the hell out of his opponent. Now, he said, and I quote, Put me among the best and you will see the best of Isaac Royal Storm Dobe. You see the confidence I'm talking about? He doesn't say put me among boxers. He says put me among the best. 
Now, we love the New York crowd, and that's what would motivate us and make us fight harder, he added. Now, Madison Square Garden is a legendary place. It's a place where many fighters were made. I mean, we are talking of Lomachenko and Pedraza. I mean, you know, those great fighters. They have been featured on a show with other great fighters, and it's an honor. Now, we are ready to roll, and to my fans, trust me, the Royal Storm is coming to entertain, Dogby said. Now, his counterpart, Navaret, who remains defiant about his chances of annexing the title, also said, this is the opportunity I was waiting for. I have a lot of respect for Isaac Dobie, but this title will be mine. Hey, I can't wait to see the fight. Now, he also added, I feel very happy and motivated by this opportunity, even more because I am fighting in New York. I know that from December 8th onward, the name Emmanuel Navarrete will be known by all people around the world. I'm sure this win will be mine, he said. Now, this bout will certainly not be an easy ride for both boxers, uh, as it, it will turn out to be a make or a break affair for the both of them, as the world awaits a feisty and intriguing contest. A lot of people have put their stakes on each of the boxers, and uh, we can't wait to see who will win. There are people betting all over, and of course, from what I see, I think Isaac Dogbe is uh, in the lead when it comes to stakes. Let's just wait and see who's going to win this match and who's going to bring the title to his homeland thank you for listening and watching for your sports news ghana news base